Welcome to sportsbookreview.com. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And this is the College Football Show. On today's show, we're talking about our conference title game matchups. These are our predictions for what each of the six conferences that are actually playing the season are going to look like. So we'll go ahead and dive into that. But first, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. A little like button down there. Do that for us and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you will be notified whenever we put up some new content. We're going to be here all season. It's going to be a blast. Hopefully, you will stick around with us. And make sure you go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Ton of content over there as well. We'll be all season. Chris, let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, we're going to start with the, the group of five conferences that are actually playing. Let's start off with Conference USA. Who is your matchup? And then I'll, uh, I'll give you mine, and then we can go over our winners. I've got UAB against uh, Marshall. Marshall. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I've got UAB as well, and I've got Western Kentucky. Now, here's the reason why I'm rolling this way. I think defenses are going to be majorly important in this league this year. Both of these teams have a ton of returning production on both sides of the ball. But these two defenses were lights out last year. Yeah. I think they're going to be even better this year. I've got UAB winning it. Yep, me too. Yeah, I could I could see Marshall sneaking in there, though. I mean, that's another team, Doc I Holliday. I don't always like taking chalk. You know that. You're going to see that as we go through this. I oh, yes. I don't, I don't take chalk very much at all. And uh, – I, I just I go with coaching. I go with coaching. These are the two coaches I trust the most. Oh, 100 percent. That's 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 it. Let's move on from there. We're going to talk about the Sun Belt Conference, and this one's a little weird because we don't have complete schedules for everybody just yet. But I do feel really good about my pick. Uh, my matchup is going to be App State, even though they have swapped. I mean, three different head coaches. It's in just three consistency years. in the program. Exactly. Not and necessarily at the coaching position. At, with the program. Zach Thomas, quarterback, is coming back as well. He's basically an on-field coach anyway. That defense has been really, really good forever. Um, and then Sean Clark, the new head coach, has been there through all of this mess. So I, I think that they are going to be just fine. I've got App State going up against Louisiana. I've got Billy Napier's bunch making it back to the championship game. What uh, what matchup have you got? we got the same, same thing. thing. I've figured thing. as much. And I've got Billy Napier and the boys winning it this year. That's exactly Raging what Cajun's getting some revenge. And they are taking it. I, this team's going to be really good. Yeah. App State does lose some pieces from That's last right. year. That's it, right. Not some. They lose quite a quite a few pieces. But they've kind of been doing that a lot. And they have replacing it. There's just a lot of homegrown talent out but there. But last year, they just had a ton of returning production. I mean, it, it made it a lot easier. You can make this about App State all you want. Raging Cajuns are going to be good. Oh, they are yeah. actually going out. They're one of the small schools that are going out and scheduling big boys. Oh, 100%. They went to the Big 12. They went to the ACC. They said, who will play us? Y'all all looking for an extra game? We, we'll take that extra game. Oh, yeah. They, they will be used to the battles. So, we both got Louisiana winning the Sun Belt Conference. That takes us over to the AAC, the American Athletic Conference. And, you know, give me your matchup. Cincinnati. Love Cincinnati. I went with Houston. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I, okay. I, I don't feel great about it. But I don't love any of the choices. Uh, that makes on this sense. Side. Well, I mean, the schedules are, are I'm not, a little harder now. Yes, and I'm not betting Memphis. I'm just not. We are from Memphis. We remember. I'm not. I think way too much of Mike Norvell. Yeah, and I think he was the only thing keeping the quarterback together. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Memphis could struggle badly. I will say this: They put up 39 points on Penn State in the bowl game, and that's that's fine. You know, that's that's, fine. that's not bad. And Kevin Johns is the guy that was in the bowl game as the offensive coordinator. I, I get that, He's but that still was there. that was that was one game immediately after the regular season. True. Now you're going through an entire off season. You got to try to keep these guys together. I'm hope I'm wrong. I'd love for it to be Memphis. I would love for it to be Memphis as well. I can't do it. I'm not doing that though. I I do have Cincinnati in there. Who do you got? I got Central Florida bouncing back. Look, they had three losses last year. Hang on. Central Florida's on Cincinnati's conference. They're in the East. They, there is no division now. Are they? Have they done away with divisions? They, yeah, when UConn left. Oh, <laughs> All right, now I feel like an idiot. I was looking Wait, for the schedule. Would you like schedule. to redo this? Yes, no, 100% Central Florida. <laughs> then it's a, it's, a, it's a million percent Central Florida, and it's not close. 
Yeah. And that's not that's not close. Central Florida had three losses last year. So this all is a of conference which, that still doesn't have their schedule together. Yeah, like trying to find information today. We are recording this on Monday, August twenty fourth. Yeah. We are less than two weeks away from kicking off football, and yeah. the the Americans yeah. <laughs> still don't have their ish together. Well, Conference USA doesn't have a full schedule. The Sun Belt doesn't have a full schedule, and the American doesn't have a full yeah, schedule. Doesn't have a full schedule. They don't, but they don't have any information at all up. Yeah, it's anyway. It's weird, and and they start playing. I forgot all about you. I they guess start I just took weekend. UConn out of sight, out of my. I hadn't yeah. thought about them in five years. The fact that they're not playing changed my life zero. Oh, wow. Yeah, Gotta I change forgot that they even left. So I'm, I'm. You taking, know that's a bad relationship when somebody can leave and you just and don't, you don't even, even know they're that. gone. Yeah. Shame on me. Yeah, Central Florida and Cincinnati. That's a hundred percent. That's what Who I've you got. think's winning that. I got. I got Central Florida winning. So now I kind of – I had Cincinnati winning that division. I'm, I'm sticking with Cincinnati. I'm, I'm riding with my boys. I love that team. I can understand it. I love that team. So, I mean, they, they got the uh, the quarterback back. And they're Desmond bringing Ritter, a lot of like, dudes back. And that, that defense. It's a great coach team. I lo- love that they, team. They had some problems at running back last season, uh, but they get Jerome Ford, uh, think, transfer think, from Alabama. I say, they're going to fix that. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to be Running back is fine. the easiest position to replace. You got that right. You got that right. All right, let's move on. We are moving to the Power Five. I guess this year it's the Power Three, but that would be the Big 12. And I'll go ahead with my matchup here. This is not going to be your favorite matchup. God. I got Oklahoma and Texas. Chalk. Just yeah. chalk. But, I, but a season the like this. the most chalk I've ever seen in my life. Two most talented teams. Lincoln Riley, we've seen what he does with quarterbacks. You're going to do this on all, all three of these conferences. Mm. The rest of this way, we're going to be just chalky, 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 chalky. Not completely. Chalky, chalky. But, but yeah, for the most part. Uh, but I've got Texas winning it. So, Texas plus 150 to win the Big 12. I I have been buying into this Tom Herman thing. Plus 150. Plus 150. That's a that's a hell of a payoff. <laughs> well, it's better than uh, the minus 125 for Oklahoma, right? Um, I, I feel good about Tom Herman. He's got... The most talent in the conference. And he's got a senior quarterback that, I mean, has shown that he's got the ability to be able to do this. The defense is actually not going to be injured this year. I feel good about offensive coordinator Mike Yurkich. Um, I like it. I, I think they're going to be all right this year. I like Chris Ash coming in as the defensive coordinator. I think he's going to be able to use some of that talent that they've got in a better way than Todd Orlando was because Todd Orlando was trying to run Houston stuff at Texas. Like, it's just not the same thing. I, I like Texas this year. I'm going plus 150. Um, I think Oklahoma gets back there because they are just so much more talented than everybody else. But I don't think that they actually win the conference this season. Who you got? I, listen, I'll give you a little bit. I got Texas making it to the championship game. Okay. okay I got okay. Texas making it to the championship game. You're trying to make me feel all bad. And the second Texas, team really? I got, and the team I've got winning it all, is the Rattlesnake himself. The, uh, the, Ar- what's it called? the, Arkansas, <laughs> the Arkansas Waterfall. The Arkansas Waterfall. <laughs> Mike Van Gund, uh, Mike Gundy, and and the Oklahoma State Pokes, baby. You've been watching too much NBA. Have, Mike Van Gundy. I know. I know. <laughs> oh God, I know. Mike Gundy. I, I could. I, I could buy that. And, and the Pokes. I think this is going to be a crazy talented team. Oh yes, yes, yes. Tylen Wallace uh, and, and uh, they are going to be. They are going to be fun to watch. They are going to sling it. And Chuba Hubbard's going to run through. Because everything. we have only a power three. I'm really curious to see if this team wins the division, wins the conference. Are they going to get into the playoff? Oh, 100%. Well, I mean, it depends well, on what the record is, right? I was about right? to say, don't say uh, – be careful with that 100% business. Well, I mean, I, I think the conference winners this year, I think, are all guaranteed in. Like, I, I would – I would I like would to think almost that. Guaranteed. I would like to think that. I think there's some worlds where that's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, it might get a little crazy. I might, I might get that. Ah, we'll see. We'll but see. anyway, that will pay you <laughs> plus five seventy five. That's pretty good. Price. No, it's a gamble. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's there's a reason they're giving you almost six to one odds because it's a gamble. Yeah, but it's a hell of a lot more fun than just hold my money for four months <laughs> and I'll take I'll take I'll a dollar fifty it, back. Yeah. Thanks. Make fifty <laughs> cents on the dollar. Let's stay in the Power Five. Let's move to the ACC. And 
All right, so I, I think we're both going chalk with, with Clemson making it, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, there you go. I got to look up. My, my other team that I've got getting there is the North Carolina Tar Heels. North Carolina gets Notre Dame at home. Notre Dame has to play Clemson. North Carolina does not. I think it's a little early for North Carolina, so I don't have them winning Clemson as minus 375. I, I think this is... I don't know that I would bet this. Yeah, this is just insane betting. Yeah, but uh, but I think Clemson's going to win the ACC. Now, it'd be a lot of fun to see Notre Dame or North Carolina win it. I think North Carolina is, what, like plus 600 or something like that? That's, I'm trying to find the odds again, and I can't find them now. Now that we're, now that we're actually recording. These were from Saturday, so they wouldn't, give have, cha- me, they wouldn't have changed a lot. Give me what you're... Just give it to me. I want to hold it. There you it. go. Oh, no, North Carolina's plus 1,000. Okay. So... So, mine would be, I got Clemson making it, and I got them playing Notre Dame. And I don't think Notre Dame's going to lose another game outside of Clemson. So, unless you got North Carolina running the table, I don't think this is happening. I've got I've got Clemson beating Notre Dame, but I've also got North Carolina beating Notre Dame. There ain't no way on earth. Does it? So, well, I mean, it's in Chapel Hill. So, And I've got North Carolina at 9-2. and two. Uh, but I've, that means I've got Notre Dame at 8-2 and two because they don't have a non-conference opponent right now. If I had the stones to bet Notre Dame to win the ACC to play plus 500. I like Sam Howell, but I ain't betting him at plus 1,000. So, you know, like I, I, I could I could see it. I could see Notre Dame winning this conference. Yeah, dude, I, could, I could. There's no way on earth I could see North Carolina winning it yet. Yeah, me Clemson's either. I think they're your way. just too good. The odds, I think by Clemson's the way, just too good to beat Notre Dame as well. I'd like to be on the record that that is an overwhelming underdog. Why? Why is Miami at plus twelve hundred? Like, a, 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 why would that not be like a plus two thousand payout? This is a team that went six and seven last year. They think Miami is going to win eight games. Yeah, but they they thought that last year too. I, I know that's why in the last video where we picked our over unders. I thought that was completely asinine. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, well. Anyway. Okay. All right. Let's stay in the Power Five. We're moving on. We're moving to the SEC. And, yeah, I went chalk. Chalk, 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 chalk. Chalk, chalk, chalk. Alabama, uh, minus 240 to win the West. Georgia, minus 135 to win the East. And uh, it, I've got Alabama winning it, minus 130. I'll go ahead and tell you. Minus so, 130. Yeah. God. Um, for Georgia to win the conference, it would be – it's not great. Uh, it's, uh, it's plus 250. Florida is plus 550, LSU plus 650, and then A&M is plus 1,200. That's what I've got. Texas A&M? A&M against Florida, and I've got A&M winning. Against Florida in a rematch, huh? Yes, sir. I, I can get down with it. Plus 1,200. I think that's going to be a fantastic matchup. That's a bet. Like and that's uh what week three week four that's early yeah it's, yeah. it's in the first well it's gonna say quarter well, it's, of the it's season week, but it's week not. three of the SEC schedule yeah right? uh, yeah I don't I've, I don't know what you call week what it's once they start it's pretty early on but since we start like two and a half three weeks after everybody else it's mid season A and M Florida is October tenth which is the week after A and M goes to Alabama so that's a that's a crazy way of going about it man. Go to Alabama, and then you got to play Florida at home the next week. Tough, tough, tough. All right. That is going to wrap up our conference title matchups and championship predictions. Make sure that you go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF so that you can stay up to date on all of the content that Sportsbook Review has got for you. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Give the video a like. All that good stuff. Share the show out with your friends. For sportsbookreview.com. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. We'll see you next time.